What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to prevent Genshin Impact from crashing when using integrated Intel graphics. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. In case your system is running the minimum system requirements, besides an NVIDIA or AMD graphics card, then make sure to follow the next steps. First, open up Genshin Impact and navigate to your graphic settings. Here, make sure to reduce the stress on your CPU by changing some graphics intensive options. Set the display mode to full screen. Make sure to cap your FPS to 60. Below, disable VSync and reduce your render resolution to 0.8. This will in turn prevent a lot of CPU crashes, but the visual quality of the game will be reduced. Set the shadow quality to low, as well as the settings below. Disable anti-aliasing and I like to turn off motion blur. After applying these settings, leave Genshin Impact running and open up your task manager. Here in the processes tab, right click Genshin Impact and select to go to details. In the details tab, the program should be highlighted. Simply right click Genshin Impact.exe and set its priority to high. This will in turn allocate more resources to playing the game especially if you have other programs running in the background. In order to reduce the CPU utilization from other programs, I suggest you to end some programs from running in the background, which you don't need when playing the game. But make sure to only add the programs from running, which you know won't break your operating system. In the Startup tab, you can additionally prevent programs from starting up on system boot. You can now close the game and exit out of your task manager. When this is done, search for Game Bar to open up the Game Bar system settings. Here, uncheck the recording option and in the Captures tab, make sure to additionally disable the background recording option. These settings will only reduce your performance. Lastly, search for Update to open up your Check for Updates system settings window. Here, click on Check for Updates and after downloading the latest OS update, make sure to restart your PC. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.